Senator Niederhauser, I'm here today to dispel some of the misconceptions about Senate Bill 112, which deals with satellite and cable taxes. Today, a customer for satellite will pay 6.25% excise tax of the state of Utah. A cable customer will pay 5% franchise tax of their local government and 3.75% tax to the state of Utah for a total of 8.75, much more than a satellite customer will pay. My bill brings parity to both, uh, both providers. A satellite customer under my bill will pay five, or a cable customer under my bill will pay 5% franchise tax, 1.25% excise tax for a total of 6.25%, which is exactly what satellite customers will pay. SB 112 does not change the amount of tax a satellite customer will pay. It only brings equality to the amounts that are paid by both customers. It, the way we do that is by giving a credit to cable customers for the amount of fat franchise tax they pay, that they pay. Three point, if you pay 3% franchise tax to your local government, you'll pay 3.25% excise tax to the state for a total of 6.25%, same as satellite. If you pay no franchise tax locally, you'll pay 6.25% excise tax for a total of 6.25%. Under every scenario, you will pay the same amount whether you choose satellite or cable. This is just to bring parity with taxa uh, taxation parity to both uh, customers and providers, and now they will compete based on programming and quality rather than on tax. Thank you.